Somebody please help me. I can never remember if this is water sprite or water wisteria and I keep forgetting to Google it. So throw it in the comments and help me out guys. But today we're taking a look at the sand waterfall aquarium. Obviously we finally got this thing super clear. I haven't done a water change on it in I don't know, a week or two and things are looking pretty good. I gotta give all the credit to this skimmer that we have in the back here. It took me forever to get this thing out. It was hiding in my stuff. And then of course, when I pulled it out, it was missing this little component. So it was just running like that, not too hot. So I had to buy another one just to get this little top piece. And this is an aqua top skimmer. There's a handful of them on the market and this is one that I've had for a long time never really used it and I'm glad that I did because it totally solved the problem with this entire tank believe it or not we used to have this crazy bacterial film and it was really throughout the entire aquarium for a long time this thing's been set up for what two months my concept of time is really bad these days, but this tank looked like absolute crap for a long time. But we threw that thing on there, that's all we did, and just in a matter of a week, this thing is doing so much better, exponentially better, guys. There's still quite a bit of debris down here, as you can tell. Um, if we go through here, and even if we just do this with the flipper, kind of move stuff around, you can see that there's there's still a lot of waste in this aquarium, especially in the back. And you know, that's because we don't have a ton of flow in this aquarium. We of course have the sand falls where water's moving, but it's not enough to create any kind of current in here. And we don't wanna have a ton of current. That's why the skimmer's nice. It's just pointed back here, it blows into the back part of this waterfall structure. And I mean, that's okay though. It's just, it's skimming everything off the top of the water and that's enough to prevent this thing from turning into a giant bacterial mess. I haven't had to add any sand to the aquariums either. This one kind of runs a little funky where you see a big dump here and then it slows down and we can fix that by just pressing some more sand into there, pushing it in. You can see it kind of forms this almost like cone around the inlet. Same story with over here, it might be a little harder to see. Can't quite get the angle we need, but um, these things are running flawlessly for the most part. I am still running CO2 on this thing just kind of because, and we moved the diffuser under here, underneath the pump that runs this guy, so I'm not seeing any bubbles come up. That must mean that it's being sucked into the pump and then push through the system here, and it's actually doing a really good job at diffusal because I don't know about you, but I don't see any bubbles coming out of this thing. We failed on our foreground plants, at least the S repins. You can see it's kind of starting to shoot out some new growth. It's it sure is taking its sweet time though. The crypts are doing okay. I just, I should have added more of them to really fill this out. I think that would have looked cool with just a whole crypt carpet, but we used what we had. That's all we had at the time. And our water sprite or wisteria or whatever this thing is, is doing pretty good. Some of the older stuff is dying off a little bit. You can see from the brown in there, go in there and cut that off, no problem, then we wouldn't have to deal with that. But I'm letting things grow out a little bit because I need to clip some of this to use in a tank that I'm about to set up. So I'm gonna be doing that pretty close to today, maybe tomorrow, um, to get that tank going, but it's a little overgrown. When you're over here, you got an obstructed view of this waterfall. We don't want that, we wanna trim that back. And uh, I think this thing is gonna look pretty good here. The surviving pieces of our Monte Carlo slash pearlweed mat that we put kind of throughout this thing in a few spots, those are starting to green up and actually look good. We did have to take a lot of that out when we went in here and did our big clean when this thing was just covered in bacteria. So unfortunately we lost a little bit of that, but I'm still hopeful that, you know, if we wanted to green this up a little bit more as far as on the surface of the waterfalls, we could do that. And as I've mentioned before, we could do certainly more work here in the foreground to really green that up. But I'm liking just kind of taking my time on this aquarium and making changes to it slowly over time. That way it stays fresh. That's one of the things that I used to do a lot. You know, when I wasn't filming and doing things for YouTube all the time, that was kind of my natural way of staying entertained and just more connected to my aquariums over time. Cause you know, you set something up and you just keep it the way it is. Sometimes you get a little bored, at least I do. So. 
We're taking it slow. I'm having a little bit more fun doing it this way, and I hope it's fun for you guys to watch. Ooh, look at the scary moss balls, guys. We're actually making a video that's gonna come out hopefully on Saturday where we're talking more about the moss ball situation. If you haven't heard, the moss balls uh, in the US, a lot of them ended up being contaminated with uh, an invasive pest, and so we're gonna talk all about that on the next video. So I'm in the process of making that, and hopefully I can get it out to you guys soon. I know for some of you it might be old news, but just wanted to throw that out there. Luckily, I already had all of my moss balls pretty much pulled out of the tank, so I'm just leaving them here in this tub. Don't light yours on fire quite yet, guys. We'll talk about it, but let's get a look over here at the big angelfish tank. It's looking pretty good. Hi, angelfish. Look at all the rummies. I love it when they school, which isn't all the time, but as you can see, you pull back, they're kind of forming a little shoal there, which is always nice to see. We definitely need to scrape the back glass here. Let's see if you can see the right angle. We do, get out of the get out of the way, fish. We get some brown algae on the back glass, is all I was trying to say, guys. And it's tough to reach because this tank is, I can't even remember how many inches front to back, but it's, it's two feet probably, so. And it appears this time around, the Java fern that we put in is doing a lot better. So I did a little tweak to the light, not much, but we turned it down just a little bit. And I'm thinking, based on what we see here the last few weeks, of these plants being here, it seems like they appreciated that. So we'll cross our fingers and hope that that continues. One thing that has been a little difficult in this tank is the cyanobacteria that showed up and it's kind of everywhere in here, but just a little bit. So it's kind of peppered throughout, mostly just on the substrate. So uh, obviously dosing a tank this size is 167 gallons. It's tough to do. So we have to try and remedy this situation naturally. That would be the best thing to do versus dumping just a ton of antibiotics in here. That's something that I don't want to do. And even with the, the other thing that we can use, the blue green slime remover, that enzyme or whatever is in there, um, we don't want to have to dump like four or five cases of that in there. So uh, we're just gonna kinda keep doing what we're doing. I get in here when I clean, I go through and I just brush everything, try and kick up as much of it as I can because it is luckily loosely attached to everything and then I just suck it out. So we're just gonna kinda keep doing that and hope that time heals it, which sometimes does happen. Don't judge me too much on the mess, guys. This is always a work in progress, keeping this space clean, but check out the Taiwan moss that is growing in here. Come on camera, don't be blurry. This stuff is looking really good, hanging out in the little greenhouse setup, and we're just waiting for the day that we have a fun project to use that on. This stuff is really, really cool. I haven't ever used it before. I'm gonna be doing another betta fish tank here pretty soon, guys. We're gonna be talking about the use of Lucky Bamboo and how I think it's low key, actually kind of high key, one of the best nitrate sponges that you can have so maybe we'll have to come up with a little experiment to prove that a little more and and highlight that so all these things are in the works right now i'm about to come through here and do some water changes and some maintenance on all the tanks uh we still can't show the tank over there guys we're gonna get to it we're gonna have three beautiful aquariums down here at some point i promise uh, but i did just want to show off the monte carlo treescape one more time looking extra mature. We did, uh, I guess we are still running a little baby amount of CO2 in here, but as you can see, we have a blue reading on our checker there. So um, the plants are doing fine. We're not seeing any kind of adverse reaction with any of the other plants. Typically when you make a change, you know, you might see some algae, but uh, we really haven't seen all too much. I guess there is a little bit of some beard or fuzzy algae there, but that stuff's easy. You just pick it off and it's pretty local to that spot. So everything's looking good. The Monte Carlo is still looking happy and happy plants are what we wanna have. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. Just a quick little update here. Wanted to show off some of the tanks and I will leave you with some nice footage of the waterfalls with some music so you won't have to listen to me talk anymore. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the Stickers Magnet Clink Store and see what we got over there. Your support is great and it is making all of this possible. So thank you very much. That's it, I'm out of here. We'll see you next time.